Welcome to Electron News Bytes, our show dedicated to updates from the world of electronics and semiconductors. I'm your host, Stuart Cording, the Electronics Reporter. In this month's show, I'll be showing a new TSN device for industrial networking, sharing a new memory architecture, covering a loud piezo sounder chip, explaining how students are getting practical support, and highlighting a new antenna solution for satellite gateways. However, if you're in a hurry, use the description below this video to jump straight to the topics that are of interest to you. Otherwise, let's get started. Timing is critical in industrial networks, ensuring that a series of actuator motions are perfectly synchronized during manufacturing processes. Hence, time-sensitive network networking, or TSN, has gained popularity as it builds upon the notoriously non-time-sensitive Ethernet protocol. TSN requires specialized hardware for Ethernet networks to ensure the timing information is shared between nodes that use it. The EKI 8510G is a new Ethernet switch from Advantec that supports this need. Supporting CC-Link IE Class A and B, it delivers the gigabit TSN real-time communication required to deliver critical, time-sensitive information. Designed with industrial use cases in mind, the unit supports full Layer 2 managed functionality and complies with EN 51214, Transportation Regulations for Gateway Track Use. Equipped with 8 gigabit ports and 2 gigabit SFP ports, the EKI 8510G offers high-speed transmission and an SFP socket for easy and flexible fibre connectivity. Memory architecture hasn't changed much in decades, but it continues to form a bottleneck in many applications, where the processor is often faster than the memory that supplies and stores the data. BlueShift memory is trying to change this with its Cambridge architecture, designed for more efficient handling of large datasets and time-critical data. This will enable up to 1,000 times faster memory access for specific data-focused applications, such as high-performance computing, artificial intelligence, 5G edge connectivity, and the Internet of Things. They are now using RISC-V IP from Codasip to integrate their design into an FPGA. Using Codasip Studio, the team plan to demonstrate the speed and power consumption improvements their new memory architecture offers. E-mobility continues to tackle concerns around the range of electric vehicles so that consumers can feel less restricted by the move away from conventionally powered vehicles. Part of the answer lies in the traction inverter, a complex system that requires both in-depth understanding of motor control and embedded system design, coupled with power electronic skills. To ease development, Sysoid, a leader in high temperature semiconductors, have worked together with Silicon Mobility to deliver a complete SIC inverter reference design with integrated liquid cooling. Supporting electric motor drives up to 350 kilowatts and 850 volts, the reference design also includes Sysoid's high voltage SIC based power module, integrated gate driver board and control board with Silicon Mobility's ultra fast and safe OLEA T222 FPCU, DC and phase current sensors, DC link capacitor, and EMI filtering. Under the collaboration, Sysoid will also deliver Silicon Mobility's OLEA app inverter software for electric vehicle power con train control. That will provide customers with a development platform ready for integration work. This episode is sponsored by Elector. If you like electronics, you'll love the articles, projects, and insights you can access as an Elector member. Our global design community has hundreds of thousands of active members and more than 1,000 contributing experts. You can go traditional and get our magazine delivered to your door, or go digital only and read online. Either way, you get access to years of information and projects, as well as our active community. Follow the link below to sign up today. Piezoelectric sounders are an important part of fire alarms, security systems, and other industrial applications, and are often competing against high levels of background noise. 
with their latest piezoelectric driver, diodes can boost the sound pressure level, allowing the sound to be carried over larger distances. Their PAM8906 features a synchronous boost converter that thanks to its 1.8 MHz switching frequency, only requires a small 0.47 microhenry inductor. The device also has integrated power saving features, critical for battery powered applications. Offering support for both an external PWM input or self-excitation, this 10-pin MSOP device is optimized for a reduced bill of materials. Unlike other charge pump solutions, the PAM8906 also maintains its output level, even as battery voltages drop over time. Selecting the display for your application is critical in defining how well the user can interact with it, but power consumption is often very high, especially when operating in high levels of ambient light. Handsfree's new paper display targets outdoor use, offering a display that uses ambient light. Thanks to their Argentum birefringence technology, the solution can be viewed perfectly in direct sunlight and can offer a power reduction of up to 80% over conventional displays. Thanks to its fast response time, the unit can update its contents in milliseconds. The paper display will be available in sizes from around 1.5 inches to 21.5 inches and targets everything from wearable and handheld devices to transportation and digital signage. And it's currently in use in Taiwan in a dynamic smart bus timetable application. Innovation in power semiconductors continues to offer high efficiencies and power densities for power supplies. Gallium nitride or GAN are one of the options open to those looking to go beyond what's possible with silicon MOSFETs in some applications. To simplify design and improve the level of integration, InnoScience has announced a new GAN on silicon power solution that combines two 100 volt 3.2 milliohm InnoGAN hemps and the required driver circuitry. The LGA package measures just 5 by 6.5 uh, mm and is 1.1 mm high. The ISG3201 provides a complete half breach and also includes a driver resistor, bootstrap and VCC capacitors. Thanks to this high level of integration, gate loop and power loop parasitics are kept below 1 nanohenry, minimizing voltage spikes on switching nodes. The ISG3201 is suited to high frequency buck converters, Class D audio amplifiers and other power converter designs. Transitioning from education to work can be a challenge, especially when you have little to show in terms of hands-on experience. To tackle this, Mauser is sponsoring Advisor at Germany's Technical University Munich. This is a one-year soft skills program designed for first-year electrical engineering students. The course is designed to provide real use case challenges to develop skilled and knowledgeable engineers who are able to communicate confidently, project manage and master the dynamics of effective team working. Mauser kicked off the partnership by delivering a collaborative workshop at TUM with Arduino and Red Pattaya on the fundamentals of circuit theory and pulse measurement back in December of last year. Tackling wireless alone is difficult, so many engineers turn to modules, leveraging their high level of integration to simplify adding Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to their circuit boards. To support this, Murata have launched their LBEE5X V2EA module that supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth. Based upon an SoC from Infineon, the module supports 2.4, 5 and 6 GHz transmission. This opens up access to a less crowded frequency spectrum. Also on board is Bluetooth 5.3 that includes LE audio, offering high quality audio in a reduced power budget. Thanks to 1024 QAM modulation and two MIMO antennas, throughputs of up to 1.2 gigabits can be achieved. The 12.5 by 9.4 millimeter module is just 1.2 millimeters high and it's FCC, IC and Telec approved. With the rapid growth in non-geostationary orbit constellations of satellites, gateway performance on the ground is struggling to catch up. 
but companies like ThinkCom Solutions Inc. are aiming to change that with their variable inclination continuous transverse stub technology, a modular system that digitally combines independently controlled antennas into compact, highly efficient arrays they have been awarded a contract by the United States Air Force Research Laboratory to deliver modular, scalable phased array antenna solutions. The ThinkCom software-defined gateway is fully customizable and delivers improved performance in key use cases for low and medium Earth orbit constellations, switching rapidly from a setting satellite to a rising almost instantaneously. It also offers benefits over traditional parabolic antennas thanks to its low profile design, and that supports hide in plain sight installations. While battery chemistry is unlikely to deliver much in the way of advancements for e-mobility in the coming years, innovation in building batteries will. Zing Mobility is targeting industrial e-mobility applications with their Immersio M25 immersion cooled battery system. This automotive grade solution is designed for load haul dump machines, tractors, excavators and commercial fleets, as well as energy storage systems. They've announced a partnership with Nordic Booster, a leader in mobile and high power charging systems based in Norway. This builds on their previous collaboration, delivering battery technology with a very high anti-thermal runaway and promising life cycle testing to construction, agriculture and mining applications. So that wraps it up for this month's episode of News Bytes. If you'd like to learn more about the technologies highlighted, check out the accompanying description and links. Should you have a news update you'd like to share, please drop me a line to tell me more. You'll find my contact details on the Elector website, or if you prefer, connect with me, Stuart Gording, on LinkedIn or follow me on Twitter. While you're here, please like, subscribe to Elector TV Industry on YouTube and share our videos on whatever platforms you use. Thanks for joining and hopefully we'll see you on Elector News Bytes next time. Thank you.